Hey, so this request for a video came in in an email and basically somebody was like, hey, how did you record your screen and have your face or your picture in a circle like this one right here? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Do this with a few apps, but the easiest one to use is called Loom. That's L-O-O-M. And I love to use the Chrome extension just because it's simple. But if you hang around till the end, I will also do the desktop version and show you how that one works as well. Basically, you install this Chrome extension. I'll leave the link below for anything that has a link. And you click on it. And then you can choose your screen. You can choose your screen and camera. So if I wanted to be on camera, I could click on that and <laughs> you can see me right there. Um, my son's napping, so I'm gonna try and get this video done before he wakes up. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then you can also come in here and you can choose your microphone and then also your camera. So I am using my AirPods. Uh, they just end up being <laughs> easier for me to record. And then my camera right now is this webcam. And so then you can also Let's see, I could flip my camera. Um, I could use my photo for screen only. Um, there's just a few more options there. I'll just leave my camera on because that's fine. But uh, I'll show you how you can change it. So let's say I didn't want to be on here. Oh, look, it says new blurred and virtual backgrounds. Oh, that's fancy. So what, what, how do you do that? I guess you click on this little background thing. Oh, this is new, blur. Oh, cool. So you can kind of see that my son's there, but oh, I like that. <laughs> so I guess he would not want to wear a white sweater. Um, but it looks like so it has built-in green screen or if you want to do it that's kind of cool that's new um i'll just keep it on blur we'll just try that okay so if you want like i said if you wanted to keep your your face on camera while you're recording this is how you do that but if you didn't want to be here you could also I think you would do it up here. So I would say screen only. Yeah, and then it puts you here. Now, if you wanted to change your photo, you can hover on this and change photo. And you could go, I could put my logo there instead. But I always like having a picture of your face. It's just easier. And then people get to know, get to know you. But another thing that's nice is that you can you can change these photos inside your account. So you would go into your Loom account and then you can upload a photo here and change it out. But I'm actually going to take my AirPods off of this because I'm using a microphone. Yeah, I'm using the microphone on my Mac to record my screen. There's a lot of screen recording going on, so anyways. Um, and then before we get too far into this, screen and camera. Okay, here we go. So Loom used to be free, and it still does have a free option, but now it's a five-minute limit. So let me just, before we get way too involved in this, let me just show you what the pricing is so that you are you don't watch the whole thing and you're like, great, now I have to pay money for you, for this because that's always annoying. But here is the pricing for Loom. And so in the free version, you can do um, up to 25 videos and up to five minutes. You can still have your little camera bubble and your screen recording and insights and also editing, which is super nice. Um, and then I'm on the business one, which is $8 a month um, if you pay it annually I think pay if you don't pay for the year it's $10 per month but what's really nice is that if you only needed it for 
a month, you could just pay $10, use it, and then cancel it and come back and use it again when you needed it. Or if you're like me and you do a lot of these, it's just easier to pay for the whole year. But you can try a 14-day trial, which is great. Most people only give you like three days of a trial. So that could be something to try as well. Um, and again, I'll leave a link for that below. And then if you're a really big company and you want to do stuff, then you have to contact them. But everybody who works at Loom or anyone that I've ever talked to is really sweet and, and nice and super helpful. So that's just something to keep in mind. But it's not too expensive. Um, so I have my camera on and then you basically just start your recording. Oh, and you can choose your full desktop or your current tab. I like to do current tab because it's just easier that way. The only thing is that if you open up a new tab, it will switch to it, but it will, um, kind of have like a little lag and your photo will disappear for a second and it will come back, but it always is a little uh, nerve wracking. So if you're recording something and you don't need to switch tabs, that is a good thing to do. I'm just going to keep it on full desktop. And then you would just say, you can, you m oh, it says you must unmute if you want to have sound, but I'm not going to worry about that. So yes, proceed. Now this is really neat. It tells you what, so I have two screens set up here one screen over here for my main recording and then I have extra videos or tabs over here so you could say your window um, so that would be what you have open so and then you could just pick whatever uh, Chrome tab so I'm just gonna say my entire screen and click on that and say share so obviously it must be Done this a long time it wouldn't take you that long to set it up but what you would do is you would do your recording and, you know you can just go to whatever you, you need to show on your screen for your thing now if you had a, if you were doing a presentation like a, or a PowerPoint or a numbers presentation or anything you would definitely want to record your screen because that would be a different window and then your photo will still be down here in this um, circle but, and then, you know, let's say you wanted here and you wanted your circle to be bigger, you could, you could definitely make it bigger. Uh, I prefer, or really big, it looks like you can make it even super big. <laughs> so, I don't know, I guess if you really wanted to see yourself on there, you could do that. Um, and again, in part of my lighting, it's, um, it's just a really great day. But I do not need to be this big on here, so I'm going to come in here and make myself smaller. And then you can also hide your controls. Then this is nice because it tells you how long you've been recording and etc. So that is the gist of, of recording your screen with yourself in a circle down here. And you can... Um, you can move your circle around, yeah, so you can click here and kind of move yourself where you want to be. Some people like it up here. I just always like it down in this corner because it's just easier to follow, and yeah, <laughs> so uh, now you can hear baby boy. Hi. All right, so that is the Chrome version. Now I'm gonna show you how it would work when you use the desktop version, and you can see that. So I'm gonna cancel this one. Or, oh, it says if you cancel your recording, you cannot get your video back. So I'm not, I'm gonna cancel canceling. I'm going to hit the, the check mark <laughs> because it definitely want to save it. And what happens is that it comes into your Loom account. Now I love this because it's just all here. And then um, I'll do a separate video all about walking through Loom because it's changed so much over the years, but um, it basically just uploads whatever 
uh, tab you were on. So for this, I would actually say Loom Recording in Circle and Screen or whatever I named this video. And then that would be that. So when you want to use the desktop version, you can either click on it up here in your um, menu bar or you can go to your launch pad here and click that. Let's say that I wanted to use the desktop app. So you would come in here and then um, you can do screen only, cam only, screen and camera. Again, we're going to do screen and camera and choose your desktop recording canvas what oh my gosh this is so fancy this is so neat so it looks like you can make a background now for your videos this is this is amazing this is definitely new and obviously it's december it's literally a few days before christmas so that's why it has these snowflakes i guess but it looks like right here you can turn those off but we'll keep them on for right now Okay, so you can choose a background. So I guess when you have your screen up, it will also have a background behind it. Uh, so look, it gives you all these different options for recording. So that's really nice. If you don't want to show your screen, you can have this option. Um, or you can have a color. The snowflakes are a little uh, distracting, but and then for text layout, well, that's nice. So you could add text in there too. So if you're doing a presentation, you could just have it right here. So it looks like you can just click on it and be like, hey, hello, and have that back there while you're recording. What? And so, okay, so click on templates. Um, you can have a name. Hey! So it's <laughs> clicking around. Uh, I'm not going to use any of these templates. I guess I'll just do this like background. It's kind of nice. So what I did is over here on my bubble. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry for the baby's noises. I clicked this one again, this one that looks like a little um, clapboard, and look, you can change your actual frame around your circle. So that's kind of neat. Um, and this, again, this is on the desktop version, so <laughs> we'll need to leave it on this one. Okay, so you go to start recording. They're like, hey, your microphone's muted. Yeah, proceed. And if you're seeing little mouse clicks and everything, that's because I'm using my Mac to record this and it's saving all of those. All right, let's just say I want to open an, a new window. So I would bring my window over here and now you can see I have this frame around my bubble and then I also have this background behind my recording. Um, and again, you can come in here, you can click this and move it and I'm just moving the circle around that way but um, but yeah so if you want a, a walkthrough of loom just leave a comment below and let me know if you just if you can comment and just say like loom desktop or loom Chrome extension and let me know what works best for you. Um, this is just kind of a quick video about how to record your screen with a circle in there. Now I do have other apps. You can, I mean, you can use Zoom, <laughs> um, but you cannot be in a circle, or at least as far as I know, you cannot not be in a circle on Zoom. You can also use Ecamm Live, which gives you even more functionality, but I think the pricing on Ecamm Live is like 15 bucks a month. Um, we can look that up real quick. Now this is a Mac. This is a Mac uh, app, and it's for it's mainly for live streaming, but it works really well for doing just pre-recorded videos as well. Okay, so you got sixteen bucks a month, 
or you can do a free trial for 14 days. And again, I'll leave the link for that. Uh, and then, or it's 32 bucks a month. Recording your screen and having your face in a circle like this is called picture in picture. So that if you see picture in picture anywhere on screen recording stuff, that's what that means. Again, this app is called Loom and it's super easy to use and it's, it's great. Now it has all these other functions that I didn't even know it had. So um, yeah. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if there's ever a video that you want me to record based on uh, my channel, definitely uh, send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment and just say video request and I will answer that. But I hope that you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and then when you're done with the video, uh, you just go to stop. Oh, it's okay.